working the, uh, the, the highways and the byways or the hallways, as the case may be, of AOPA Expo, we're in search of the really coolest gadget here. I mean, let's face it, Gadget Patrol is part of Expo. What do you got? Tell us all about Biodynamic. Well, we recently introduced our new HS600D ANR, and that is our new digital ANR headset. Uh, we brought it out a few years ago in Europe and did an a, uh, introduction in the U.S. at Oshkosh this past year. And it's an excellent value in a headset. Uh, has a list price of $749, and we're one of the first to introduce a digital headset into the aviation market. We're an 80-year-old company, uh, audio company, based out of Germany. We've been in the United States about 30 years, and uh, we've been in the aviation business about three years. So we've been able to utilize some of the knowledge and expertise we have in other audio markets to move into the aviation area and develop a high-end, high-quality product that's 100% made in Germany and serviced in the U.S. Now, what aspect does the digital aspect of digital A&R play in raising the bar for this technology? Well, the digital, we've been working on it for several years, um, and five years ago you couldn't do what we're doing today with digital, battery life, capabilities, uh, the digital aspect. So basically it gives a, uh, our system is a noise adaption system, so it's listening, it's adapting to the noise environment and addressing the sounds in the cockpit. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Let's face it, uh, any aspect of A&R is a welcome thing in the busy and loud cockpits that we have to deal with. More important, being able to hear what you need to hear when you need to hear it rather than compete with all kinds of ambient issues in the background. Yes, that's correct. And that's what our goal is. Um, you know, there, we've had people here at the show say we don't want to block all the noises. Sometimes we want to be able to hear the engine noise. So, uh, but this product does it digitally. It addresses it very accurately. Like I said, it's listening all the time in an analog headset. When you turn on the ANR button, you hear the, the ocean sound, the noise. And with our product, there is no noise. It doesn't come on until it begins to listen and hear what it needs to address in the ANR uh, portion of it. So, When you talk about adaptive technologies, are you talking about something that actually uh, learns? Uh, the environments that it's working in? Um, it's listening, yes. It's scanning, it's going back and forth, listening to the environment, and then, we'll, and then addressing a particular frequency band. So it's, it's, it's specific to the condition at the time. It's not something where it's building empirical data about a noise environment. That's correct. Right. Yes. Yes. And the product is, um, like I mentioned, it's a five-year warranty serviced here in the U.S., uh, we have two other models as well. Uh, we have the, the HS300, the HS200, both are passive. Um, the HS300 and our digital ANR both include an audio box, which allows you to plug in your MP3 and your cell phone. It has automatic off. Um, there is also, uh, you have, when you're listening to your MP3 player or cell phone, you have music that ramps up and ramps down based on incoming signal. So it's, uh, it's unique. We've had a lot of good response from customers with the Build Your Own Manufacturer. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. Ellen, if you would, show me what you've got here. Okay, uh, this, is, this is the HS600 DANR. Uh, it's about 11 ounces uh, without the audio box. This is our electric condenser microphone. Uh, the unit is adjustable on the headset, leather headband. We're using the carpet fiber design on the ear cups. So it's very comfortable, lightweight, and uh, non-fatiguing. Like I mentioned, our background in the audio, uh, this design is based off one of our earlier headphones in the pro audio area, the DT770, which is very well known. 
So it's something that uh, someone sitting in a studio with a headphone on for many hours can wear, less fatigue, um, comfortable. So, you know, we, we feel that that's the right approach for the pilot today. Do I take it, though, that there's the ability to customize it uh, color wise? Yes. Uh, we have our, uh, we have another uh, feature, which is our manufacturer build your own. And right now that's available on our passive headsets, the HS300. And probably by April, March, April, we'll, be, we'll have the build your own feature manufacturer for the HS600. And essentially the, the customer can go to our website and customize, uh, customize their headset various different colors to match the interior or something that they like as well. Here's an example of our, our manufacturer headphone. Uh, this is the HS300 where you can, uh, can do the different coloring with the yoke, the headband. You can also do personalization if you want to put your end number or name on the, uh, the clip on the headband. So it's a different approach. We're the only one doing anything like this. So, you know, it has several of the features that we believe that the, uh, the consumers are looking for today.